Welcome back to Age of Empires 2, The Age of Kings, and welcome to the fifth mission in the Jean of Arc campaign, The Siege of Paris. September 3rd, Rhin. France has a king once more. However, as Jean gains influence with the people, jealousy grows within the court. The king's evil advisors now seek to destroy Jean. It's only a matter of time before they succeed in poisoning the king's mind. Jean must hurry to fulfill her mission. Paris, the jewel of France, has been under English tyranny for decades, and French patriots trapped within the city are eager to escape. We are now marching on Paris, hoping that the reinforcements we have been promised will arrive in time. Paris is just ahead. Let us locate the refugees and escort them to the rendezvous point with the king's men. We shall do that. We do have quite a nice assortment of troops here. Unfortunately, we will get almost no reinforcements and we don't have any monks. So we can't convert units and we can't heal the units we have. And we also don't have any resources, so even if we rescue those refugees that we have to rescue from Paris at one point we're not going to be able to utilize them to fix our war machines here anyway so we're going to sort of go over here if you take this this road here it leads us directly to Paris but Paris is gigantic and controlled by the British we don't want to run directly into it they also have some trebuchets and theirs have better range than ours so there's that what we are going to do is we're going to send the stands, a set of stands to the British to neutral. The reasoning behind that is that otherwise your uh, units will always attack the British units automatically, which is not what we want. We don't want to destroy every unit on this map here. We want to make sure that we have... Scout, you can scout ahead a little bit. We want to make sure that we get across this map here in one piece and essentially only do minimal fighting okay so this looks somewhat safe is this a dead end well before we sort out everyone let's get over here and we also have a number of heroes at our disposal not only John but also a couple of other folks like the knights from the initial mission there should be some some defenses here oh that's what i mean yeah but the good thing is that the bombard towers are pretty slow and our trebuchets outrange them the main downside of the trebuchets is that they fire fairly slowly and they have they have to unpack themselves before they can do anything so we'll, we'll have to see what we do about that with regard to how we approach this map because we can't just have them do all the work even though it's tempting but for now, let's have them move over here. This map here has to be, be approached systematically. To be perfectly honest, if you don't know how this map here works and where stuff is, it's pr it's a rather large pain to to navigate across it. So it is it is fun to to have this challenge. But on the other hand, there's also the issue of I've got a nice amount of crossbowmen here. And so let's have you on. Um, oh yeah, we should be also going to send stands of you guys here to no attack mode. So you only attack when I want it. We also have Jean de Lorraine here. He's going to work exactly like one of these bombards here. But he has better range and well, he's a hero unit, so he has better everything. Okay, time to unpack you. That even comes with its own loading bar. Then we're going to destroy that bombard. That bombard has a range of 11. These guys here have 12 and 14, so that's nice. Really? That's too far away. What a disappointment. Fine. Let's maybe move over here. So how, how far is your range? Okay, so you can, you can attack us here. Okay, let's get a little bit closer. Let's try that again. So not the best start, but it's okay. We can ha move these guys here in as well, but we don't want to do that if we don't have to. There we go, that's better. 
Actually, you know what? Uh, no attack stance is good too. I'm going to order you to attack this. But generally spoken, I don't really want you guys to bombard everything you can bombard. We can get these guys in, but right now these trebuchets here deal enough damage. And... There we go. That does that. There's going to be more, no worries. Scout ahead a little bit, there we go. Arrows are raining down on us. We can fix that, and there's also... Let's see, can you move over here without getting yourself killed? That seems to be safe. So you should be able to just move right next to this guy. So there's more towers here. And there's also a big fortress here. You need, we Well, we don't really need to take that out, but if we if we don't take it out, we have to maneuver kind of past it. And we don't want to do that. If you do get the chance to take this stuff out without having to... Like, without having to fear that the Brits just send stuff after us straight away, send mobile troops, then we may as well take that opportunity. All right, that shouldn't take too long anyway. Can you reach that? Nope. Oh, you didn't even destroy that. Well, never mind. I think you just missed. Yeah, the, yeah, the reason why you want to set the, the Brits to neutral is because... You don't want the units to just take out all these windmills and whatnot. There's no reason to. And it's just a little bit of, of a hassle if they focus on that instead of your actual enemies. As in the units that need to be destroyed. These here are just keeps. Wait, wait a second. Yeah, this, these are just keeps. That's not too bad. You've got a range of 11, so that's acceptable. This castle here is going to take a while until it goes down, but that's okay, I think. So none of you actually outrange these bombards here. So you, uh, Jean, you can come over here. If you let these guys attack by themselves, they're still likely to get themselves killed. Because they will... So what can you reach? Probably nothing. Oh, there we go. Out of range, out of range. That's okay. Because they will just come in too close and then they suffer the consequences. Alright, let's move a little bit closer. There we go. And I think you can join us here as well. We just don't want them to join, join us as a group because if they do that... What's likely to happen is that they like block the spots they would all take and then some of them move in too close. But it's okay. We're not in a rush. So just, just take your time, take out these towers here and then we're going to destroy that fortress. These bombards here are not as powerful as the trebuchets but they are more mobile, they are cheaper and they fire faster. Which is worth something as well. We can actually take out this tower here while we're at it. You can join us here. For example, this guy. Why did you do that? Where? What are you doing? That was completely unnecessary. You could have moved around here. This is exactly what I mean. So these just get. These guys are just too keen on getting themselves killed. Out of range, of course. See, that's what you should have done. And that's how quick you, you lose a guy here. That's why it's good to be paranoid. Spy hat a little bit. Is there another tower? Well, we shall see about that in a bit. Okay, it seems to be clear. Okay, so we're clear here. So everybody move up. You get yourself packed up. And you scout ahead a little bit more. So there should be... Yeah, the gates here. There will be... Yeah, there will be British longbowmen. So the British longbowmen outrange pretty much everything we have. So let's see whether they come... Okay. We don't want friendly fire. Okay. Oh, they actually come after us. That That's actually good. We don't want you guys to, to join us here because... Okay, let's see whether we can at least kill a couple of you. So we don't want to move in here because the gate might close and then we'll have a situation where one of our heroes could be trapped in. Okay, let's kill these guys here. 
Okay, you, you can you can follow us here. That's okay. So these swordsmen here, they will they will get what they deserve soon enough. So you kill these guys here. You shoot that guy. Thank you very much. There we go. And let's see whether we can go after these guys here without losing too many of our own men. Stop dodging. Yeah, these longbow men, their range alone makes them super annoying. Don't don't follow them in there. That's just too risky. You kill this guy here instead. But if you can get rid of those guys, then this gate here is pretty much clear, which is great. Yeah, that, that wasn't really the most elegant way of handling the situation here. But we'll have to see. So maybe you can at least kill the last of these guys here. Yeah, but we've got this entire swarm of crossbow men here and it's not sufficient. Can you, can you reach that guy? Yes. Yeah, there we go. Alright, that wasn't so great, but it's okay. Bombards. So you. I think we're clear what we're going to do here. Where's uh, so Jean, uh, you are regenerating, so we're just going to have you stand back a little bit. You just check out what's over here. You should be able to survive this. Now, next we have to face probably the worst the worst kinds of, uh, of units we have here on the map, and those are enemy warships. The problem with the warships is that they're essentially mobile artillery, but we can't just rush up to them with cavalry, naturally, and they're also very powerful against everything we have, so there's no real there's no situation like the trebuchet being good against archers, because archers just don't yield good damage against sea weapons in most cases, so that's not so great. So first let's clear out this wall here. So Jean is going to take a while to regenerate, but she's almost there, so this isn't isn't too bad. Yeah, the warships are just super annoying. They're also really good at dodging. The eye just dodges way too much. So anyway, so there we go. Let's just take a random paladin here. I guess we could take... Um, the Guy. Lord de Graville. Oh, actually, you are... No, you're slow. You're not cavalry. Didn't we have... Did we already lose? Did we already lose our our hero cavalry? You know what? I don't even care. So you just... Check out the coastline here. Okay, so there's more war we have to destroy, but that's okay. Where's my scout? Did we lose that guy? I hope we didn't, but yeah. So they have a tendency of just going in with everyone. No, that's just like cavalry. Whatever. So you guys get over here and destroy that piece of the wall as well. Yes, we can go th in through here, but the British have trebuchets and stuff installed, so we want to avoid that if possible. These guys here are super slow. I should really just sort my guys better. But you here. Yep, looks like I already... We have rescued the refugees. But have we? So you just hang out. Actually, you know what? You just stay here. We're going to just destroy one of these segments here. And then we're just going to get you out of there. And we're going to leave you behind for now. We have a couple of you to spare because we only need to save six of these. But it's not that many. We do have two, four, eight. Ten. So we do have twice the amount we need to save. Which doesn't mean that we want to want to sacrifice any of these. And theoretically these could fix my my war machines, but we don't have any We don't have any resource to actually do that. So we cannot do that. But oh well. Objectives changed. So we have to meet the Kingsman now. Which you will do. But there's a couple of other things we want to do first. The city is somewhat dangerous. It's not crawling with troops, but there's enough stuff that you don't want to move in, especially because there's a bunch of siege engines. And if you just have a huge cluster of units, then those can be uh, somewhat dangerous. Thankfully, fast cavalry makes, makes quick work out of these guys. So there's, of course, more towers. So then we have to be careful. You can spy ahead a little bit. Okay, so that tower is already attacking us. You have a range of 11. Hmm. So we could just get these guys in here. Okay. What could also try is... 
here you stay back obviously you know what you maybe move back from the coast just in case they do send their navy after us let's see whether we can get just get you in there and take out some of the towers and keep our our profile low yeah the problem with having multiple of these guys is that immediately they they all try to get their piece of the cake and and attack these these towers here and then they can't all occupy the squares that are actually far enough away so some of them just run rush in and then they get themselves killed in no time so that is actually a ship of the kingsmen and we can't control that so the kingsmen are just our allies for the time being otherwise having that transport ship would actually be really useful for a number of reasons you could probably just skip the most of this map here alas that's not the case so here we have a keep we're going to try and dodge that because there's also a trebuchet nearby that outrages our trebuchets meaning that it has a greater range than all of our units and it's behind a wall so that makes it double difficult to actually take it out so you just oh damn Oh, no, 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 get out of here, get, get out of here. What is your range? Too far. Okay, let's see whether you can attack this without getting yourself attacked. That should actually work. Okay, so you're just hanging out there. That's okay with me. So you have a range of 10. It's not that great, but the, these ships here are good at dodging. So if I attack this one here, it's likely just going to run away if possible, or maybe not. Oh, what? Did it just one shot kill that? I mean, oh. Let's see whether we can pull that off again. Yeah, that truck. Oh, you just took that guy's place. But you won't actually hit, so. Wow, okay. I take back what I said. These ships are not as dangerous as they could be. I suppose they're trying to go after my units, but they can't. Okay. Wow. Awesome. So, yeah, I, t I take back what I said. So those ships are not as much of a problem as I thought they would be. Okay. Is that tower still alive? That's the question. I guess we can just peep over there, even though we're probably going to get ourselves attacked. Okay, I think it's gone now. So in this case, you just carefully sneak up here. Yeah, so that, that one's dead. Uh, I don't think they produce... How long would we take to take out this monastery here? I don't think they produce any units here, but you never know in any case. So there's a there's just a worker. This will give us some space. You know what? Let's just take it out. I know it's it's not really necessary, but we're just going to do go with that for once. I, I'm tempted to move all my guys in, but there could still be more ships, so whatever. What we could do is maybe get another one of these guys here in. That should that should be okay. So you get over here. And as a saint, uh, Jean is authorized to to tear down monasteries. Because in the future these guys here will convert to Protestantism. Well not really convert, I guess they establish that as an alternative to Catholicism. Boom, there we go. Unceremoniously destroyed. So let's destroy you. Yep. We're not going to not going to get adventurous here. We're going to do this systematically and cleanly. Yeah, I really overestimated these ships here, uh, which is fine with me because better better them than me. Okay. You just keep bombarding. Oh no 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 no! Don't get too close to the coast. Yeah, as soon as you're more than one unit, you can't really rely on, on them doing what you want. So this guy here has not a whole lot of health. In fact, he has less health than than the other guys. But he also has different armor, so I guess that's something. Okay. And of course, great vision, because he's a ranged unit. So you know what? How about you just scout ahead a little bit? We should wait here. The king's reinforcements will be along any second. Okay. So let's wait for that. They'll be with us any seconds. Ah, we fulfilled all of our objectives. Great. But not really. We'll, we'll, we'll get to that. So... Where are those blasted reinforcements? We are all the king could afford to send. Treachery. The king's wicked advisors want to see Jean defend. Or worse, we're on our own. 
We must hurry to Compiègne. We've got multiple monks. Okay, let's not let's not do that. No, 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 no. Just get just get over here. Let's see whether we can murder you in time. Because I don't need my guys to be converted. Because I just got lame reinforcements, so we may as well keep those. There we go. Well, we already burned down your monastery, so we may as well kill you. Okay, so the objectives have changed. We now need to to escort Jan and the refugees to the Chateau of Compiègne. That's over here. So those are our allies. And of course, we we don't get uh, many reinforcements. We get these two guys here. Lame scout, but I actually lost my scout, so that's not too bad. Didn't I get... Oh, I already lost that other guy. Oh, well, never mind that then. Oh, well, I suppose we may as well utilize you. I think there was a second... Yeah, there we go. So that is not so great, but let's see whether we can make this work again. And let's try to kill you. The last thing I need is any of my, like, bombards to be converted or so. There we go. And goodbye. All right. The way should be clearer now. And there we go. You can attack this tower here. There could be more warships. We have to be a bit careful here. Thankfully, warship fire can be dodged. Uh, not quite as easy as bombard tower fire, but we can at least try. Oh, damn. That's exactly what I mean. Okay, retreat. So, let's see. Does this ship follow us all the way? Okay. So you just move, just move after every shot this this ship here fires. Oh, there we go. Nice, nice, nice. Okay. Yeah, I completely underestimated this guy here. This guy is awesome. Range 14, that's considerable. Two less than my trebuchets. So you can join us here. No worries, I'm going to get the rest of my army in here eventually. But to be honest, I think being patient like this seems to pay off for the time being. So I'm going to do that. Is that another? No, that's just a worker. So that's not. You know what? I'm going to kill you because you just make me nervous running around there. You just face through that bridge. There we go. How many? There we go. And now you died in the bridge, weirdly. There's probably more towers on the other side, so we may as well utilize you. One of the two king's men. One of, one of whom already died. Okay. Hey, why do you have, why do you have no vision? Your scout cavalry. Okay, so this island here is somewhat clear. There's another tower. That's okay. Let's, let's get you over there. Take that out. Slowly but surely make our way across the map. So you take out this tower here. And you can also give me some extra vision. Oh damn, oh damn, oh damn. You know what, you're actually going to try and take that out. You might die in the meantime, but you know what? It's going to be worth it. Oh, you, you don't really deal much damage against that. Oh, wow, that was pathetic. That was absolutely pathetic. So the question is, can you attack that tower without getting attacked in, in turn? Especially now that you have... That we have driven that... A tilo piece back a bit. Let's see whether you can pull this off. Oh, oh damn, oh damn, oh damn. Okay, time for you to get in there. Uh, well, you were fun while you lasted. That's how fast this this guy here can die. Oh well, we should still outrange that tower. So that's a bit of a shame. But it's okay. I really didn't expect that guy to, to die quite that quickly, but I guess he did. In the meantime, all of you can join us here for now. You should be able to do that without getting yourself killed accidentally. And... Can you do that? I'm pretty sure I told all of you to do that. So I don't know why you guys didn't comply with my order there, which is divine, but never mind. I really wish these guys could get promotions because this would be a great mission to, to do that. 
Also, it's a lot of windmills in Paris. Well, then again, maybe medieval Paris had windmills and I'm just talking nonsense here. But anyway, there we go. You may as well scout a little bit because you have better vision. I've commented on that in Age of Empires 1. Oh, damn. So there's another one of those. Let's see whether we can take you out. In Age of Empires 1, the range unit have the best vision, which is convenient. But also means that you have no situation where the cavalry, uh, where the artillery actually needs needs someone to scout ahead because they can just see better than the scout. There we go, and goodbye. Autonomous siege engine. You can come over here. I don't think there's any ships left. I hope. Pretty sure those would have come over after us already. Okay, so you've got this guy here. You should be able to take that guy out. Uh, yeah, but not, it's not, ooh, but you almost died in the process. Not great, but okay. So it seems we are in the clear here. Look at that conga line of troops. You can scout a little bit more. I still have a couple of you left, so you should be able to afford a loss here. If indeed that does happen. You other guys just stay where you are for now. I could probably utilize you, but I feel more comfortable m micromanaging like these small small squads here and let's see whether we can get out of the city here so here we have champions okay not really too fond of that but we can probably deal with those let's get you guys over here if you really you what what is your problem with just riding over there Okay, so you guys and you guys will take out those champions. It shouldn't be too hard. Let's hope it isn't. You can come down here, if you will. Here we go. Going to do this carefully. It's not really the thing that the like these two champions are the problem. It's we never really know what's ahead, so we'll have to be careful. So what we're going to do is we're going to activate them with these guys and then we'll see that our cavalry takes the actual actual damage. Okay, so you over here. Okay, so they don't seem to be backed up by a hundred trebuchets or so, so that's that's progress. You get over here then. And slowly but surely. We are going to make our way through this town here, or city rather, it's Paris, which was fairly large even at this stage here, even though a lot of medieval towns were small compared to modern towns. So even if, I kind of have trouble imagining that, obviously I know how large a city with let's say 20,000 inhabitants is, but there was a time where that was almost a met metropolis, but it also depends on the period and the, the age, they were also were also medieval or uh, antique cities that were way way larger and might have been relatively small be considered to be smaller okay you get over here not quite sure what i'm talking about here uh i'm not what what was the problem with you guys did you get stuck i guess you did it's okay get over here any more guys i kind of lost i guess i did that's okay Burgundy is actually on this map as well. They await us just before the fortress here, but we can actually avoid the fight with them if we fight our way through the forest. Just think about whether I forgot anyone here, but it doesn't seem to be the case. Okay, here we go. Nice, nice. So that tower is gone. So you can scout ahead a little bit more. And it looks like we can make our way out of the town here. So, do we have other bombards left? We do. Really, we only have one. I know we lost one earlier. We lost our hero bombard, but we should have more than one left. Well, if we maybe maybe they were left behind as well. Okay, you get over here. Or maybe really, when did? Oh, there's another one here. Okay, let's find them. Get over here. 
That's good to know. So you can just take out these guys and them. Well, you can join me. Just want to make sure that these guys don't follow us. Oh great, oh great. This guy here too. That's just fantastic. I think we're probably going to lose all of these. Great, let's hope that these guys don't attack us. Oh, yeah, this is not the trouble. This is not worth the trouble. What, whatever. Let's just hope these guys don't come, come after us too hard. You join us here. Sorry, guys, but you're just not worth the hassle. Yes, you can. You can try to take out a couple more of these and then get yourself killed, spectacularly. Okay, take this one here also out as well. And then we're going to leave the city here behind. Just stick to the river. We don't want to provoke the British. We actually have an army camp in the north. I know this this entire fight is slightly anticlimactic, but you really want to avoid climactic fights in this in this map here, on this mission, on this map or in this mission. There we go. Then you can scout ahead a little bit more. Let's keep an eye out for warships in case any are left, but I don't think any are. There we go, and let's just make our way through the forest. There should be enough space here. I don't think they have more stuff here, but you never know until you find out. So, what a great statement. So let's, let's send our guys down here one by one, just so we don't get a situation where some units block the path and then other units decide to go around here and run into more, more trebuchets or whatever. And here we go. Yeah, overall this mission isn't too bad if you know what, what to do, but the problem is, should a mission really rely on you knowing what to do? Yeah, you should be knowing what, what the deal is in general, like how the units work and when, when to use what unit and whatnot. But at the same time, you should never have to like know what the map layout is just to have a chance. And I have the feeling with this map here, you can scout ahead and everything, but it's not as... It's not as easy as it may sound. So you come and join us here. Why are you not moving? What is your problem? Okay, get over here. What what is the issue with you? With you? Okay, where were we attacked by the British? Here. Oh, so there's actually the waylaying us here. That's okay. So what we're going to do here? Going to spy ahead, so let's avoid these guys here. Instead, let's see whether we can sneak through here. Okay, so that guy may kill us if we don't watch out. And well, there's a lot of trees here. Let's try to avoid those as well. Hmm, so we're almost there. So there should be, yeah, there's an ambush here of the Burgundians. Question is, do we outrange? Do we outrange their their uh, catapult there? Let's see, so we could see it without it attacking us. I think we do outrange that by a, a considerable margin. So you have a range of twelve, so we do not outrange you. Goodbye. That is annoying. That is rather annoying. We can we can try to trebuchet those guys. So you stand back a little bit because I still have to save you. And so these these guys are surprisingly annoying. I don't really want to face them. So let's get our trebuchets over there. Where is uh, Jean? There you are. Your hair looks really oily in this in this portrait here. And then again, I guess a fair amount of medieval people had oily hair. So here are the Burgundians. We kind of want to avoid that fight with them. Because they have low ranged units, and while we have most of our troops still, you can lose troops so easily with the wrong setup, so. If we don't have to, we don't want to. Or to face those guys. So, oh, we actually. Where were we actually killed that siege engine? Oh, damn. What kind of range do you have? Anyway, let's unpack here, but these guys. Oh! Ha ha ha! 
can we actually reach these guys like this? We can. That's a, that's four of them. That's not so cool. Jean, do you want to take those guys out? Jean, please. There we go. We should be able to pull this off, hopefully. Uh, maybe not, because we are already at half health. We low, in fact. Okay, do we have our... Do we have our crossbowman here? I think we blocked this path here, but let's see. Let's see whether we can make this work. Of course you dodged that, but whatever. Crossbowman, can you, can you join us here? You can, nice. So this should work. These are better than my crossbowmen, but at the same time, I have a lot more of them, so this should work out in the end. Come on. One bolt has to hit sooner or later. And... Uh, this guy here alone is going to kill half my army, isn't, isn't he? He probably is, but it's okay. Okay, just shoot this one longbowman, please. Elite longbowman. Please, thank you. Ooh. What a nightmare. Okay. Everybody come over here. Please don't get yourself killed. Jeanne needs to regenerate a little bit because she's below half health. And if you lose her, we will still lose the entire mission. Unless she does regenerate and you can't mind control her. In, I think, the base game or prior to a certain patch, you could actually get your, uh, your heroes mind controlled. And you could also mind control enemy heroes. Oh, we could have walked around here, but you know what? We still would have to face those guys, so never mind. You know what? Maybe I should have scouted better. Alas, I didn't. Okay. Okay. You can okay, so we cannot... Can we not go you can go around here because the, uh, the longbow man did, so we should be able to do that as well. And... There we go. No, 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 don't do that. You're going to go through here and nothing else. Don't go past the Burgundians. That's just not a good idea. I'm still not over Burgundy being the new Switzerland on the campaign map, which doesn't really show the relocations anyway. I think most of the stuff would be just in, in northern France or around Ile de France. But uh, it's just all over France on this map, which also shows the the borders of modern day France, but whatever. Okay. One of you can scout ahead a little bit. I guess I could have had you join the crossbow man because you also have a crossbow, but I guess I didn't. So so the Burgundians are here, but we can we can cheat the system by trebucheting our way through the forest. Let's just f try to find out where the forest is thinnest. This looks good. Yeah, this looks good indeed. So our exact objective is to... Yeah, Jean and the, pe and the peasants need to... Need to reach the chateau. Let's build you up here. I don't think you have a ground attack. No, it doesn't look like it. But the trebuchets have. Uh, attack grounds. There we go. Yeah, we can, we can cut the trees with that. So that does work. Okay, let's just have them attack this area here for a while. So we can have an adequate passage there. Yeah, I think we still want to cut a couple more of these trees. And there we go. Nope, I want this one here gone. This one here bothers me slightly. Let's see whether we can make that work. Not really. But we're going to we're going to try. That pretty much hit this tree directly. I'm pretty sure that hit it directly. But I'm also pretty sure that the animations and there we go. Time to pack up. You can go through here. And then we'll see whether that was sufficient or whether there's even more forces here. Probably more more elite long the elite long man just so annoying because they outrange everything. Um, that is... Oh, haha. That is actually an ally. Nice. Hey there, friend. 
Good to see a friendly face. In this case, let's just move everyone through here. Let's make sure that they actually do move through there and don't accidentally take the opposite road here. What are you? Oh, you're just another crossbow man. You look like a mermaid. Yeah. So, if you go to the entrance, we're probably going to run to the Burgundians again. And to avoid Burgundy here, we're just going to going to bombard our way through the wall here. Because, because that's how I roll. Oh, you can actually attack the ground, okay? Didn't attack didn't pay attention to that but i should have so there we go it's nothing personal but you should have just built a second gate there but you didn't i thought for a moment that this guy would attack me but i'm pretty sure they're not going to going to uh, change their stance yeah, these guys yeah these guys are still allied so which ball wall segment did i attack this one here okay so you almost got this i guess you can join your friend there and my trebuchets can do the same. And then we're going to save those peasants and everything's going to be fine. Yeah, in a fair amount of games, walls are kind of neutral. And occasionally you can also combine them. I think in Command & Conquer, they're not neutral to whatever faction you are. Obviously you can still attack them, but interestingly, they you can, you can attach your own walls to enemy walls, which is interesting. So there we go. Oh yeah, we have to ground attack here again, because these are friendly walls. This guy here is getting nervous, which is understandable. Really? You, you didn't even try to hit that. There we go. Okay, someone please just hit the ground here. Thank you, we're almost there. There we go, that should do the job, so you can just unpack. And that will be it. Nice, nice. And Jean, you're here. I recently learned that Joan of Arc is actually called of Arc because she's from a place called Arc. She's from a different village, but because that apparently was her father's name, or at least it related to that. All right, and here we go. It wasn't so bad. You are victorious, and our peasants are safe. I just hope Jean can make it to the castle. Oui. See you next time. Tragedy. As the refugees fled into the Chateau of Compiègne, Jean was trapped outside. Burgundian soldiers knocked her from her horse and paraded around with their prisoner. None of us can sleep, knowing our precious Jean of Arc languishes in a Burgundian prison. The soldiers stare at the uncaring sky, condemning themselves for being unable to save her, for being unable to save France. Paris was the first major defeat ever dealt to our army. Had the king sent the promised reinforcements, we would have captured the city. Now. It is France's darkest hour.